Just for the first time, every nation in the Western Hemisphere will attend the Summit of the Americas. That is including both Cuba and the United States. Their participation comes nearly four months after the first steps towards normalized relations between the two countries. And CCTV's Michael Voss is live for us in Panama City, where the summit begins on Friday. And Michael, there is so much economic disparity in the Americas. How does this summit aim to address that? Well, Jessica, the official theme of this summit is prosperity with equality, the challenge of cooperation in the Americas. And a real challenge it is how to close the income gap and get Latin American economies to really take off. Remember, the commodities boom is slowing down and still about a quarter of the population are living on less than $4 a day, according to the United Nations. And it's looking at ways to tackle that, that this summit will concentrate on. But for the moment, the focus here is very much on just how that historic encounter between Barack Obama and Raul Castro will work out. The Panama Canal has been helping develop east-west trade for more than a decade. Now, Panama is hoping to act as a bridge between north and south, bringing Cuba and the United States together at the summit of the Americas. Cuba's presence should also help repair U.S. relations with the rest of the region. It's a great event because for 40 years, uh, Cuba and the U.S. were not present in the same meeting. And uh, this has changed, and this will change the relations between North America and South and uh, Central America, because this issue was an issue that, in a way, poisoned somewhat uh, the relations. Cuba's presence here, though, has also spilled onto the streets with ugly scenes as Cuban dissidents tried to join a forum on civil society. Some of the official Cuban delegates reacted angrily and forcibly turned the opposition figures away. Venezuelans, too, took to the streets of Panama to protest the Obama administration's decision to designate Venezuela as a threat to U.S. national security. It's provoked widespread condemnation throughout the region. It's not understandable why did the United States that wanted to have a good summit would undo with its right hand what it had fixed with the left hand. Approaching Cuba was a way of fixing things for so the, the summit will be fine. Now the Venezuelan issue has like thrown a, a monkey wrench inside the machinery. Much of the attention here is focused on how the historic meeting between Barack Obama and Raul Castro will go. But the seventh summit of the Americas will also be looking at ways to tackle the region's many social and economic problems. Jessica, there is another summit taking place here, the CEO Summit of the Americas. Business leaders from across the region, such as um, Mr. Slim from Mexico, the CEOs of Walmart, Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola and Citigroup are all here and will meet with political leaders. Now, together, they may just be able to come up with some concrete solutions to some of the problems in the region, perhaps better than the main summit itself. And, Michael, we'll have to keep an eye on that, certainly, for that reason. But getting back to this historic meeting between the two leaders of Cuba and the United States, you know, there was a lot of hope here in Washington that Cuba and the U.S. might even be able to announce the opening of their embassies at this summit or just ahead of it. But obviously that is not going to happen now. Are the two countries making any headway on getting embassies in the opposite capital? I think that... I think they are making quite a lot of headway. President Obama did announce today that the one big sticking point from the Cuban position, which is that they want to be taken off the list of state sponsors of terrorism. Well, apparently the State Department has finished its review, has made its recommendations, which we assume is to take them off. But President Obama said they will have to formally present those to him, and then he has to pass it on to Congress. There is still some formalities to go through, but it does look as if the whole thing is on course and that it will happen. The fact the embassies haven't opened before the summit opens here, I don't think it's going to detract from the mood very much. I mean, I think the fact that Cuba is attending the summit for the first time is seen really as a big victory for Latin America, which had pushed all of Latin America, had pushed so hard for the United States to change its policy towards Cuba. 
President Obama has changed that policy. He yeah. will sit down with Raul Castro here in Havana. So I think progress is being made. And we'll be watching for uh, when the President of the United States makes that decision. Michael Voss for us live in, in uh, Panama City. Excuse me. Thanks for that report.